Oh boy. If body language could tell you what a person was thinking, I guess you'd be able to read this girl's mind. Stay tuned. The coach is going to break it down for you. You guys have the privilege of watching Coach Cheryl Harrelton M. <laughs> oh, no, my, no, you bet. Oh, Lordy. Oh, well, there's a new young talent <laughs> coming on the scene. I was real impressed with this one. And I don't know if you guys know who this is. A lot of y'all don't, but I've already reached out to a team for a quick interview. And I'm waiting on them to respond. I want to interview this, this kid as quickly as I can. All right, and that's that's how impressed I was about this fighter. This fighter's name is Lindsay Van Zant. No, she's not related to Paige Van Zant. Okay, it's spelled completely different. Read the title. Um, you know, there were some people pretty much saying that Lindsay Van Zant did not win this fight, but I tell you what, man, Lindsay Van Zant won this fight two rounds to one, in my opinion. Lindsay Van Zant, you know what? There were a lot of things that I saw that was wrong, but man, I saw some things that was that was right on. Lindsay Van Zandt, to be such a young fighter, this girl knows how to really judge the distance. And she knows how to fight at a range, you know. And she knows how to connect at a range. And I was impressed with that because a lot of young fighters, they don't know how to use their range. This girl definitely knows how to use her range. So somebody really has been schooling this girl on how to fight at a range if the person definitely is stronger than you. Um, Lindsay Van Zandt definitely was the weaker of the two fighters. But man, this girl... Uh, she used her legs, her low leg kicks. She utilized those things to her advantage. Uh, Bina Gwen, she tried to press the action. You know, she was constantly stalking Lindsay Van Zandt, constantly stalking and stalking and stalking. And uh, Lindsay was countering. She was pot shot and she was sticking and moving. And I thought that she hit Bina Gwen with the more clean, effective strikes, in my opinion. And also, too, I like what uh, Lindsay was doing. She wasn't doing what typical MMA fighters do. Like, they don't understand boxing mechanics, so what they do is they circle into the power strike of an opponent. Lindsay was circling away from Bina Gwen's power, which, you know, like, wow, you know, you don't see that in a fighter so young. You just don't see it. But um, this kid is on the up and coming. And also, too, man. When uh, Bina Gwen took her down, and uh, they were, she was trying to scramble, but Bai was, you know, hitting her, hitting her in the thigh with her leg kicks while she was grounded. Yo, her up kicks and her trip kicks, those things were on point. And she actually, <laughs> she caught Bina Gwen in the midsection, man, with a kick, you know, while she was on her back. She caught her with a kick and, and dropped her. She dropped her with a kick while she was on her back. Like, I'm like, wow. Lindsay is very exciting. She's very entertaining to watch. She's an outfighter. And, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of outfighters because I like how they use defense to their advantage. Outfighters, they last longer in the sport because they don't take a lot of punishment. Lindsay, to me, didn't take a lot of punishment. I thought that she was really catching by the Gwen, uh, being a Gwen with those, with those counter rights, man. She was countering her to death. And, you know, you would think, you know, with a Wink MMA product, you know, a lot of the Wink MMA products, they're very good at judging distance. But by the Gwen, she didn't seem like she was really good at judging the distance. It's like she kept she kept falling into the same trap. But Lindsay would back up against the cage and then B would come in and then Lindsay would catch her and then pot shot, move away, circle away from her and then circle back to the center of the octagon. And Lindsay repeated the process. Lindsay also had a pretty good takedown. But then, you know... B kind of surprised me because she put Lindsay in an armbar, and I thought it was it. I said, oh, fight's over. The fight is over now, but <laughs> Lindsay got out of that armbar. She got out of that armbar submission, got back up like she'd been doing that, you know, for her whole life. I was impressed by this young fighter, Lindsay. I was very impressed, you know, and this is a girl who was working, you know what, she was working at Little Italy's, man. She was, what, a server? And this girl is a beast. She a beast. Uh, definitely though some things that I do think that she needs to improve on um, she definitely needs to understand how to slip punches she did a good job of rolling a lot of punches and she was doing a version of the shoulder roll like they do in boxing like she was doing that and it's kind of like wow I was really impressed so I can't wait to have this kid on for an interview I know that the interview is going to be good because you know I like you know these young fighters with a lot of energy but man you know I was impressed and I'm me I'm not easily easily impressed with fighters 
especially fighters that you know they don't offer any substance but you know she was doing a lot of things right um i think Lindsay should have used her kicking game a little bit more than what she did she she did some low leg kicks she did a few of those she did some 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 bottom kicks some up kicks she did a few of those but she didn't do like the head kick the head kick was there for her all night long if she wanted it if she really wanted to do that she could have had a head kick you know kicks to the body man this girl didn't utilize her arsenal of kicks and i know she can kick because when i actually went to do research on her she kicks a lot in training so my thing is okay man this girl uh minor gwen she was ready she was ready to be kicked to death but it's a learning experience you know i think what she's one and oh or two and on mma now and i gotta go back and do more research on on this kid but i've already asked you know our team for an interview and they're definitely going to find the time to sit with me but man this definitely was a good fight i enjoyed the fight it was entertaining from start to finish these two ladies they brought it uh b let me kind of analyze being a gwen she you know what there were points in the fight where i thought that i felt like she was following you know, she was actually following Lindsey Van Zandt around versus cutting off the octagon. So Lindsey always had a way out back to the center of the octagon. Um, B is a very strong, and like she's very good at submission. She's strong. But I think at the point of the fight, you know, these two ladies, they, they it must have been very hot in that arena because they were perspiring. And I knew that Lindsey, I'm sorry, I knew that B couldn't keep, she couldn't keep a grip because Lindsey was actually slipping away. So... That's what it was. I think had the arena not been so humid, I think B probably could have scored a submission. You know, that's just my opinion, you know, looking out. Um, you know, B, I don't know, man. She, uh, she's she got a good jab, but she's a little bit reckless when she comes in. You know, if she could have cut off the octagon, the fight would have been completely different. It would have been completely different. And a lot of our offense, she would have been successful. And I know it was a close fight. Most, I thought the fight, I gave it two rounds to one to Lindsay. I thought Lindsay won this fight, in my opinion, decisively. But you guys tell me what you think. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris, and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.